see this latch here. If it's too far out, like that, you go to close it. It's gonna bang the. It's gonna bang the metal. If it's all the way in, it's not gonna catch in there. So this handle's like in the 90 degree position. Okay. Not like that. See, that's gonna. Okay. That's how you shut it, actually. You actually have to kind of slam it. I see a bunch of grease right here. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe this off. Is it full? You can leave it in there. Now, let's look at these, uh, what I would do back here with these seat belts is, we'll just kind of make them a little bit orderly. What I would, what we do in the Falcon Jet, kind of fold them up like this, just kind of shove them in the seat like that. Out of the way. There's no, there's no set way to do this. I just, I set it up like that, maybe fold them in like that. See how that's kind of nice and neat? Yeah. And these, this long one we'll just leave here because the, the pilots will grab these. How come I'm sweating and you're not just? <laughs> I am. <laughs> and these ones you said just leave like three. Uh, yeah, you can just leave those hanging out. So normally I'd have my towels so I'm not dripping all over there. I don't know that sweat's pretty good. <laughs> Did you see what I was saying about the lock? Yeah. Yeah. If it's 90 degrees, it won't like screw it up. But if it's um, all the way down, it could like mess it up and be the cash it. But if it's not all the way, it goes. Perfect. Okay. Good. Okay. And I'll just kind of look around. I think the fuselage looks pretty good. Again, we know the top of the wing needs a cleaning. That That's a separate. If we were cleaning this airplane, it was a one-time shot. We'd have to clean all of this in one day. And that's that other plane took me about five hours by oh, myself. Wow. Oh. The one I did last week down oh. here, but it was top to bottom, everything with the with the uh, aero glaze, polishing it by hand, one person. Wow. Um. So we'd come back and do this on a different day. Oh. So that's kind of a general. A general what I would call a wipe down and leading edges. I mean, a general wipe down. Vacuum, we hit the leading edges. Okay. So it takes half the time when you're here by yourself because you're not talking and <laughs> yeah, you know, you're just in here, boom, 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 hit. Yeah. You can get it done pretty quick. Okay. So that's a general, a general thing. Now how often, is there a day of the week that's preferable? No, there's, this guy here is the most flexible. Oh, is he? You know, the plane may not have even flown. You may come in here and find that nothing's been touched since last week. If I know that, I'll let you know and I may say, hey, you know, maybe clean the floors or take the week off or I got a different airplane that I could, that you could help me with or something like that, you know. Great. Okay. okay. But generally, one of these is going to have flown, and it, but it might just need a general wipe down. Um, uh, chances are, like this one, if you came in next week and it's completely clean, well, we know the wing needs it. So you go, well, I'll work on the wing today. Now I'll show you the aero glaze so you don't know how to do it, but it's the same. All you're doing is putting a chemical on there and you're wiping it, letting it dry, wipe off. But, but we'll show you on this other one if we do it this morning. It's like a car wax. It's like a car wax, except it's not as thick, so it's yep. not as, you don't need a buffer to get it off. I try not to use electronic, I mean, buffers and stuff. You can, and the bigger the planes, you have to, but the, those are two-sided. They can get you in trouble. Because you can grind the paint you off. You can grind the paint off, stuff like that. So I prefer to, and I think that's one of our selling points. This is all done by hand, you know. It costs more, but hey, this is an investment. You don't want machines and stuff messing it up. And actually, we can. Get, I can I've seen that buffer. I think I go as fast as the buffer does yeah. on a small plane. Because you get all the little nooks and crannies. You can't get the buffer in there anyway, so. You end up doing it anyway. Yeah, you'll have strong arms and you don't. Know, I don't know why I don't, but it's all I got to do. What else can I tell you about? So, again, on a general, so, so there's two planes in here, and generally, um, uh, one, he's flying one, like the other one's going to come back and it's going to need a good cleaning. 
you'll probably come in and do a normal cleaning on it, and this one you may not do anything to. So I think you can handle both airplanes. And what we'll do is, uh, um, you know, we, we just... Should he just come by here like one, once a week or every other yeah, day or something? Yeah, come by once a week. No, okay. once a week. Okay. Once a week. That's, that's what the owner, we tell him we come by once a week. Um, since I work right here at the Villages, a lot of times I swing by. And just check. Know, I may just check it and go, hey, Jess, I, I, you know. Needs to be cleaned. It's really bad. Or if we can get an extra, if we can get in there, hit it. If, but, but the way I'm set up to pay you, the assumption is it's, it's, it's once a week you come in. Okay. It could be an hour, it could be two hours. Some weeks it might be 30 minutes. Some weeks it'll be two hours. But on average, it's going to be an hour. It's going to probably be an hour and a half. Okay. Um, deal.